There's no uh, greater privilege than bringing a friend or a member of the family to know Christ. That verse, uh, verse 42, where it says that Andrew brought his brother Peter to Christ. The great uh, Archbishop of Canterbury, William Temple, who wrote a commentary on John's Gospel. He wrote by the words, he brought Simon to Jesus. The greatest service that one person can render another. And it's something that we can all do. Andrew, we don't really read very much about Andrew, except that all the time he was bringing people to Jesus. But Peter became one of the greatest influences in human history. Countless millions of people. Lives have been affected by the Apostle Peter. And we can't all do what Peter did, but we can all do what Andrew did. He brought his brother to Jesus. I uh, heard about a man called Albert McMakin. He was 24 years of age, he was a farmer, he'd just become a Christian and he was really excited. So he heard that there was this event going on where someone was speaking about Jesus and he decided he'd invite all his friends. Uh, uh, and he got this old van and there was one guy he really wanted to come. He was a farmer's son uh, uh, and he really wasn't interested. This guy had lots of girlfriends, he was a very good looking guy uh, and he thought, how am I gonna get him? So eventually he said to him, look, would you drive the van? And the guy said, okay, well, I'll drive the van. I'm not particularly keen to come in, but I'll drive the van. And he came along, drove the van, and it just it was interested in what was going on, so he popped in at the back, and he was spellbound. And he, he went back night after night after night. And on the last night, the, the, the speaker said, look, if you want to uh, give your life to Jesus, come to the front. And this farmer's son got, got up and went to the front. Since that day, that person has spoken to 210 million people in person about the Christian faith. He's been the friend and confidant of nine American presidents. And uh, he's spoken uh, not live, but through television and so on to half the world's population. His name, of course, is Billy Graham. We can't all be Billy Grahams, but we can all be Albert McMakins. We can all be the one who says, come and see, and brings our friends to Christ.